Many say the 1970s was described as the decade that never happened. Political and cultural trends finally had come to an end with the rise of those trends that would dominate the 1980s. Some influences from the 1960s were still present during the 1970s, such as flag waving, drugs, and striving for peace. The economy of the 1970s could be described as a recession. For example, unemployment and inflation were rising at a rapid rate. Inflation was primarily caused by the rising of oil prices. Oil was in high demand. However, the supply was reducing, therefore skyrocketing the price of oil. In 1973, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, mostly Arabic countries, quadrupled oil prices, or in some cases, wouldn't even sell oil to the U.S. because of their involvement in Israel. Because getting oil was such a struggle, President Nixon tried to make a bill to get oil from Alaska. However, the U.S. dependence on imported oil still grew. Although the recession ended around 1975, inflation continued to increase throughout the 1970s from 12% in 1974 to 13.3% in 1979. Towards the end of the 1970s, President Carter had many futile attempts at reducing unemployment and inflation. However, they were inversely related to each other. This means, for example, as Carter would have a plan to reduce unemployment, inflation would rise and vice versa. Politics played a major role in the 1970s. Some major politicians were Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, and Barbara Jordan. Even though Nixon was Republican, he had some signature Democratic beliefs. For example, he was more liberal than conservative. Gerald Ford took over after Nixon resigned. He was also a Republican who shared some of the same beliefs as Nixon, but he vowed to stay more true to the American people. Jimmy Carter was elected in 1976. He was a Democrat. He strived to solve the unemployment and inflation problems, but unfortunately he was unsuccessful in doing this. Ronald Reagan was a conservative Republican out of California who started to become an influential political figure at this time. Finally, Barbara Jordan was a congresswoman out of Texas. She was in the House of Representatives and strongly opposed Nixon. In 1969, there was a massive oil spill in Santa Barbara, California that had to be dealt with in the 1970s because it was so large. There were things called teach-ins and other activities to raise awareness of environmental issues. To protect workers from dangerous and unhealthy working conditions, Congress took several actions to help these workers by creating the Environmental Protection Agency, Occupational Safety and Health Administration. In 1979, a nuclear reactor failed in Pennsylvania, which caused fear among Americans and the U.S. about their safety. During this time period, the popular belief among Nixon and Kissinger was an approach to foreign policy that emphasized national interests over moral and ethical concerns. They believed that national interests should be the guiding force in the U.S. foreign policy. This idea was known as real politic. The U.S. strived for one main goal at this time, which was to establish a balance of power among the world's five major powers and prevent international conflict. One action that President Nixon took was to improve the U.S.'s relations with the Republic of China. His idea behind this was that he was hoping to divide the communist world. China and the U.S. made an agreement to promote peace in the Pacific region. America also tried to promote peace with the Soviet Union and promote trade and cooperation on the issue of mutual concern. They decided to limit the number of nuclear weapons. This was called the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks. Another policy these two nations enforced was detente, which was the lessening of military diplomatic tension between these two nations. As all was well at this time, we had complications with other countries that were not in direct strategic importance of the U.S. For example, we had complications with Chile. The U.S. culture in the 1970s changed drastically with Title IX. Title IX allowed girls to participate in sports equally as boys. For example, if there was a boys basketball team, there had to be a girls basketball team or a girls activity to balance it out. Hardship also increased at this time a little bit because the divorce rate was increasing. There was also zero population growth, which meant that the death rate was the same as the birth rate. This is bad because many people were dying, and with our knowledge of the medical field at its height, we should have been able to keep more people alive, but unfortunately weren't able to. Another negative aspect of the 1970s was the Kent State shootings. These were anti-war protests by students that were so intense that the National Guard had to be called in and shot at crowds. Four were killed. Contrary to these negative aspects, environmentalism was spreading throughout the United States to support the environment. Rock music was also starting to take a hold of the pop culture. Some of the legendary films such as Star Wars, The Godfather, Jaws, and Rocky were premiered during the 1970s. 
All in all, the 1970s was a historic decade with its ups and downs and is still a very influential decade today.